to Welcome back to our channel. We are Snug Harbor Crafts and we are back again we this are. week. And we have a lot of things that we need to talk to you about. That's true. But I feel like we need to tell you our names. Oh, okay. I feel um, like we're bad at that. We are bad. We are bad. Everyone, like Pam and Steph, are like, this is Pam and this, this is Stephanie. Steph, I know. They do a good job. Yeah. And Donna, Donna. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Who are you? I'm Kefren. <laughs> And I'm Debbie. Yeah. And, and here we are. And I'm her mother, if any of you don't know. Yeah, and She's, I'm her daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, you guys. I know. Believe it or not. So we um we want to thank all of you for participating in our giveaway. And we have pretty much uh, all the things are mailed except the beauty product. Of course, because I'm the one in charge of it. Well, she it's was supposed to put buy off it. to the last. And she was so busy. She thought she was going to leave work early on Friday. And oh she my gosh, you guys. You didn't leave till six. My boss literally wasn't in the office the entire week. Oh. And he waltzes in at one o'clock on Friday. I'm like, this is the absolute worst day of my life. And she was getting ready to leave and then he came in. So she, you were there till six. I was there until six. On a Friday night, my husband went to oh. this like museum yeah, with another couple, with another couple and their baby, and you were driving home. And I was like supposed to be there. I was like, oh, they were like, can five? Will five o'clock work? I'm like, oh, easily. I'm leaving work at one. This will be no big deal. And I freaking didn't get to go. She didn't make it. Twenty dollars down the drain. So there you go. So um, anyway, so uh, we will get the beauty product in the mail, but the rest of you, um, we, <clears throat> we have sent that. And then I also meant to tell, there was a lady, what can I think of her name? And now I'm gonna cough, <coughs> that asked me about the Lady, um, Liberty. Lady Liberty from the Krynik website. She, wasn't, she didn't have a, a printer. I have mailed that as well. So she has. Debbie goes above and beyond. So keep keep a, a lookout, you guys. Wow, I'm just losing my voice. She always gets so choked up when we do floss <coughs> too. Overcome okay. with joy. That's right. I get so and my vocal cords get tight. Okay. Yes. Okay. We want to give a shout out to begin with to the die to die house. She is a new, Kathy. Kathy, a new floss tuber. And Kef had watched her, but I had not. And so I caught up last night. And her story, Pam and Steph had also watched her. And the story about her name, uh, the Die House, yeah. or To, to the Die, to to die, die House, D Y E, is fascinating and so cool. How did and I miss that? Was I, it on her first one? Yeah. And it's so interesting. Is it? She lived in this big building. Well, you'll have to watch. And literally, they dyed floss. And that was the thing that said to the dye house. That's where they took the stuff. To I dye. love that. I know, if I were, she had to move. But I was just, I would have, I thought that was so cool that, that she lived cool. there. And she's a, just a real good stitcher. And so yeah, she's you, phenomenal. Yeah. So anyway, you ought to check her out. And then I felt really bad that I didn't, t I was thinking about it. How embarrassing for Debbie. That Catherine was talking about why do they do the ABCs? Everybody freaking stitches the ABCs. And it just it just doesn't make any sense to her. And I totally was thinking Donna Ray Barrow in Flannel Jammies Farm does an excellent floss tube. Um, all about the ABCs. All about the uh, uh, samplers and how they started many, many years ago with a guest. She has a guest who is a total expert. And it's fascinating. I believe it's number 10 of Flannel Jammies Farm. And you should definitely check it out if you wonder about why the samplers were stitched that way. Excellent video. And I, in fact, I think I'm going to go back. And I'm we gonna love make, Donna. And I'm going to make you watch it. Maybe we'll do that after this. Okay. Now, we had <laughs> a crazy week. We had a crazy week, and we had such an exciting event. We had such an exciting event. Well, she well we had multiple, so I don't know which one she's talking about She right is. Now. I'm going to tell her. You were at work. Oh, I and am she was so, so upset. I can't even put into words. I felt like we were Pam and Steph at a at the uh, at their at their L and S, and somebody walked in and said, "I watch you on Flustube." So Thursday, I'm dead. So Thursday morning, I'm. I'm 
you're at work, I'm here all by myself, far away, she's far, far away, and I am getting a whole bunch of stuff done, have an apron on, you know. And my, oh, and Dave was out of town. Yeah, and my doorbell rings. And so I'm like, well, and that's... she even told me the night before. She's like, I don't think I'm gonna get ready tomorrow. No, I'm not gonna shower. I'm, I'm not just gonna, gonna relax because I'm gonna get all this stuff done in the house, and I'm not gonna. But for some reason, you woke up and you got ready. I did. I showered. I put my makeup on. If Debbie doesn't do that, she like can't it do does, anything. I can't I function like. really. But there are times when I know I'm gonna like clean out stuff that I don't do it. Right. right. Okay. I. But nevertheless, I did. She did. Thank goodness. <laughs> Because I answered the door, and Kay, our, our floss tube follower, is standing there with her, her husband. husband. I'm dead. And, and we love her husband. And of course, I don't know. Because he's like a radio celebrity here in Utah. Yes, I would say so. And and he, um anyway, I had no idea who they were. So she, and I, I couldn't only imagine your face. And I looked at her like I should know her. You know, don't you I, hate that feeling? You know, because I like I, these two people are standing and here. I should know this person. I thought maybe it's a relative because sometimes re I don't know. Anyway, I wouldn't have answered the door if I didn't like like know. I know, her. but anyway, so I answer the door and I, she said, and I look into her eyes to try and see how I know her. And then she says, Debbie, and then it like comes to me and she's like, I'm Kay. I. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. And she brought us a loaf of Great Harvest bread. Oh, it was wonderful. And I was so shocked that I didn't invite them in. I just stood at the door. <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then I had, we had to find out how we know each other and all the people that we have in common. Yes. That we actually know quite a few people um, together that, that they know uh, separately from us and we know separately from them. But yeah. then they, it's kind of interesting. It was very interesting. And her husband was a delight. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. I know. I, and Kev, I was done. I was just like, I've got to tell her. He I've was literally to... on the right. He, say, he like read a book. On my way home from filming Floss Tube, because we filmed last week on Sunday. Oh, and they do that Sunday night. And they night do like thing. a Sunday night read thing. Yeah. And it was him. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I know him now. I was like so excited. Whoa. And then this happened. And and so anyway, so we're honestly going to try and get together. Kev, I'm thinking maybe dinner. Yes. But Kay and the two of us will try to I get would together. I would love that. Because, you it know, it would be a dream come true. It's hard to get together for lunch because Kev is gone and, and then I'm going to go back to school. But anyway, it was so fun to meet a person that has been commenting. Yeah, that's crazy. It was crazy and so much fun. So it just, fun. It made Debbie our year. called me and she was like, I was sitting at my desk <laughs> and at my work, I hate it. There's no like cubicles. It's all they're, just open space. They're in a big room. I mean, with the CFO, with the CEO. <sighs> no one has an office. See, oh, oh, they all sit together. And Debbie, I sit next to all of them and Debbie's freaking screaming on the phone. I'm like, what is going, she's like, you're never going to believe this. And I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? Da, da, da. And she just goes into the story. And I was like, so excited, but I had to be like slightly so quiet. quiet. <laughs> I, mean, I typically don't call her. We text when yeah, she's at work. But so oh my gosh. I had to immediately speak to her. Yes. So thank you so much, Kate. Yeah, that was Grant. amazing. We appreciate that. I it feel was, like I was here even though I wasn't. Yes, yes, yeah. It was just so, so fun. So <laughs> we don't have, you know, an LNS to go to. So yeah. that was really, really fun. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much. So we had to talk about that. That, that was, was exciting. A, a fun, exciting thing. Are we talking about dad at all? Oh, I guess we should. Uh, we could, yes, that would be. Have to. Well, oh, we do. We have to because we have to tell Pam and Steph. Yes. Okay. So, um, just on a whim, at the last like moment, a major whim. That's Dave, what Dave does. If Dave, you haven't noticed, yeah. he wanted to go. Has always wanted to go. Okay. First, you have to know he's been to all fifty states. Yes. Okay. He's been to forty-two different countries. Okay. He's a traveling man. So he gets around. But he had never been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. And which, there's nothing that Dave loves more oh, than music. Rock and Roll, honestly, oh my gosh, he just knows all about it. And it's funny because in January on a work trip, he was able this year, just remember in January, to go to Liverpool. That's and right. And he took a Beatles tour. That's right. In fact, it was a personal guided Beatles That's tour. That's correct. Just with one guy. And, and so he's, this has been really his year of rock, of and, rock roll. and roll. So yeah. he went through all the stuff in Liverpool. So on Wednesday, he flies to Cleveland. Now, 
we think that it would be fairly close to Pam and Steph's. We illness. don't know the whole layout I, of Ohio. No, but 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 I, I from the impression from people going to StitchCon, I got the feeling. Oh, really? Yeah, that they would. Um, Cleveland was closer than Cincinnati. Interesting. Okay, so I said, Dave, what? Do you, like you can't go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You've got to go to Keepsakes. You've got to go to Keepsakes L and S and walk in. We want you to walk in and and if Pam's there, which she probably excuse me, Steph, Steph is there, walk up and see what she does. We'll pay you money to go do that. Anyway, he, he didn't. He didn't have time, and he didn't rent. He a was car. literally only there for like twenty four hours. Yeah. So he flies in late Wednesday night, but not so late. That he doesn't buy tickets and go to a Beyonce. Beyonce, I'm sorry. How terrible. That's literally what it is. He doesn't even know who the freak they are. He and Jay -Z. Beyonce and Jay Z freaking tickets. Kefren was dying. He Do you know what row he was in? He barely got there before the concert started. Oh, the, the Uber taxi driver, Uber, Uber driver was like, he was like, so anything fun going on? He's like, well, people are here for the big concert. And he's like, oh, what big concert? And they're like, oh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, they're coming. So he get, goes online and gets a ticket. Not just any ticket. <laughs> a 12th row freaking ticket to Jay-Z and Beyonce, which I can guarantee freaking to you. Okay. That he does not know one song he they've didn't. ever seen. He, he doesn't. He doesn't at all. And so he went for the experience and to go, and Kefren was just turning somersaults. She would have given anything to be there. And, and. I'm just so upset by it. Anyway, he went to that. Is that funny? He loved funny? it. He, he said he it did. was the best concert ever. He just he said it was. He believe it. He, it I'm was like, just so amazing. Like, and I, can you tell that Dave is like the most unique man he really on the is. planet? He really is. very. And I thought he might relate to Donna Ray because she went to Leonard Skinner. That's you know? right. So anyway. Okay, so, so anyway. anyway, so he goes to the freaking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, a Thursday morning, gets up, goes to the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, spent eight, eight hours <laughs> in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He was thrilled. mesmerized. He was just so happy to be there. He said it was, he kept texting us, wow, this is wonderful, wow. He this sent is, pictures and like, wow, yeah. Dad, that looks really great. And so he was so happy. I'm glad, because he invited me and I was like, that seems like a great activity to do. And I kicked myself that I didn't go, but I knew that he would be in there for so long and I'd yeah. want to punch myself in the face. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, and then he got up the next morning and came back. So wasn't there for a real, I mean, he literally spent eight hours. Uh, can you this. believe that? And I finally, when he called me the last time, I said, have you eaten anything? And he hadn't. No, he hadn't eaten anything. He just stayed, you know, anyway. So, he was in heaven. Yes. Yeah, so I feel bad he didn't get and to. And he literally got the best picture. Oh, he did. We'll have of to. Of my whole life. And I will have it framed in my house one day. <laughs> and I will insert it right here. Okay. Because it's so good. On the cover, yeah, they took a picture of him with the guitar on the cover of a ro the Rolling Stone. I mean, it's the best thing I've ever seen. It's just Dave. It, it really just is. really screams Dave Bernheisel. Yes, it does. He's put it in our living room to be funny. It it's framed <laughs> in the living room right now. Oh gosh. Anyway, so that was kind of a weird thing that. But happened. we were sad that he was so close to the Pam. To keepsakes, yeah. That was that was anyway. So anyway, we felt bad about that. But there you go. So those are kind of the weird things. And then I did. Should we talk about the 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 restaurant mm -hmm. last night. My son-in-law, and, and I don't know how to explain this to all of you, because I don't think it's nationwide. It isn't. It's a Utah thing. Oh, it's a Utah thing. But I'm okay. sure they have buffets places. Yeah. Like, I would think that, like, what's another one that's kind of I have Golden no. Corral. Oh, is that is that Utah, though? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, okay, there are these buffet places in Utah. It's called chuck mm -hmm. Okay. I have never in my whole life, I've lived here for a long time, I've never been to chuck That is okay? correct. Ever, ever, ever. Steven, Catherine's husband, I would say he really likes it, wouldn't you say? Yeah. He's kind of a buffet kind of guy. Okay? He can do a buffet His like no other. His whole family. Yeah, that's true. Are that's true. buffet people. They know it. They know it. They know how to do it. They love buffets. Yeah. And typically, the Bernheisels. We don't. Don't like buffets at all. <laughs> we don't do that. I mean, it's gross. Like, in theory, it's like the food's been sitting there for all that long. It's I just know. not good. There are several in Vegas that are good. 
They're, they're but they're they're hugely expensive. Oh yeah. They're very expensive. Chuckarama is not. No. Okay. It's very nicely priced, very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. Okay. And Steven's like a professional eater. He is. I mean, he's won eating contests. He he does like food competitions okay. and he <laughs> smashes everyone. Okay, you guys. I'm not kidding you. Anytime he'll win. So Dave and I, you know, because he's our son-in-law, we'd like to, you know. Bond. Do, bond things and do things that he would like to do. Dave says, we're going to check a rama So last night, for the first time. I was time, so nervous. Why were you nervous? I was like, it's going to be so disgusting. And like, <laughs> the they're going to wonder about us and question everything. <laughs> and you know what? It wasn't bad. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I was shocked. Chuck or Emma came through for Debbie. Yeah. It was, they had a great salad bar. They did. And I ate a roll. Yeah. I mean, Believe it, was, it or not, she ate a roll and she had some chiffon jello. I had, it was just a, a throwback to my childhood. <laughs> so I had to have a little piece of chiffon jello. But you guys, I'm telling you honestly, it it was really fine. It, it was, was good. fine. I had chicken then too, baked chicken. And I, I was impressed. Like I've got, sometimes you can go to Chuck Grandma and it is just terrible. Oh really? But sometimes you can go and it's great. Yeah. So you never know what you're going to get. Well, you know, I'm surprised you didn't have like mashed potatoes and stuff. I don't love the mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. All right. Cause they always seem, I guess, guess they always have mashed potatoes yeah. and gravy and stuff. Anyway, so I did, that was a first for me. I've never been to Chuck Grandma. We went last night. That was exciting. Okay. That was, and it really was pretty good. Okay. So there you go. So this, and then, what? but what I was going to say before. Oh. Rest in peace. Oh. I haven't, I didn't tell you. I was going to tell you at Chuck Grandma last night. Oh. My straightener. <gasps> it died. Oh. And I swear you gave it to me in high school. Really? It's blue. Yes. My straightener. And yeah. Emily and it, like showed it to you. I was like, state yes, of the art. It was state of the art. Was it that long was ago? Was it a chi? No, that oh. was before. Okay. I had a okay. chi before. Yeah, I'll bet it was high school. I swear well, I got it in high school. It has it has served you well. You know, I hear straighteners dying after like two or three years. Oh, yeah. This lasted that long. That's amazing. It's been through me with me. Yeah. Through thick and thin. And you haven't lost it or you no. know. And you've moved several times and this is great, but I'm sorry. We'll yeah. give you another one. So now I'm like, oh dear, what straightener do I get? There's so many on the market now. Yeah, we'll have to ask our. So our that's why my hair is kind of struggling. Our, our beautician friends to tell yes, us. I to. didn't know that. That's interesting. It's okay. really sad. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the book portion and the beauty product portion of the uh, floss tube. Um, you go first. The first, the, the, the book I'm going to tell you about today is called Extra Yarn by Matt Barnett and John Clausen. They have also written other books together, and I've done other ones. Uh, Sam and Dave Dig a Hole and uh, several others that are amazing. They've also written ones by themselves that are amazing. Okay? And Extra Yarn is just... How it's, fitting for this community. Oh, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. It just has a really good moral to the story. This young girl finds a box... And the yarn, there's lots and lots of yarn in it. And she starts to knit. Notice how the whole village is just very depressed looking. It is. Black okay, and black white. Black and white. And she starts to knit and she makes, isn't that cute? Yes. And then she makes a little thing for her dog. Aww. And then she makes a thing for her friend. I think his name is P Mars? Mars. And then look, then his dog. Oh, I love it. The yarn just keeps going and going. And then she starts to make things for people in her classroom. And look at them. Oh. She, and her teacher. Isn't that cute? That's cute. And she does this. It's just a, a sense of goodwill. Yeah. Okay? So a man finds out. Oh, and this is a guy named Mr. Crabtree. And he doesn't really like to wear clothes, so she makes him a hat. Uh. Okay? And so it's really cute. Look, she makes them for the animals. I love them. Yes, it's really cute. And then the houses. That's great. Okay. So she finds, look at how different it looks. I love it. So it's a really sweet story, but then this nasty man right here. Oh, I knew something bad was going on. He happen. finds out about the yarn and he wants her box. Ooh. And so she won't let him, she doesn't want to give it to him. And so he says, give me, you know, your box of yarn. No, no, no. It and he like said, a pirate. I'll give you $10 million. I'll give, it was an archduke. I'll do this, da, da, da. No, I won't sell the yarn, she says. And so <gasps> he's, he's going to break in the he house. He steals it. Yeah. And then he takes the yarn and he opens up the box and something very interesting happens. It's black and white. Well, and then some other things happen. 
And so it, it's just a very good more. You're not going to tell us. No, ha. Huh? It's a good, probably older kids would capture it more than younger children. But it has a real good, like, oh, you know, like. Well, now I have to read it yeah. after we end the spot. Yeah, so too. Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett. And then the illustrations are done by John Clausen. Wow. Uh, so anyway, it's very good. It's a, it's a good, has a nice little moral to it, okay? Catherine, let's talk about your beauty problem. Let us discuss. Today we have two mascaras, and I'm wondering if one we've used, I've, I've done, I've done. I, now I, now I wonder if you've done, I don't know, but let's talk about it anyway, because I anyway, do. Anyway, it's kind of pricier. And it's, but it's, but it's worth it. If you're going somewhere, like a need, wedding, or like a funeral, or something, and you need something that you honestly, you, it's not going to run. It's better than sex. Mas two face mascara. <laughs> That's what it's called. And, and I keep it on those occasions when I know I might cry um, or something. I will say the only like not good thing about this is that it dries up quickly. Yeah, yeah. Like the tube. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's but it's very good. But it's amazing. I mean like I buy other waterproof mascaras and they don't work. Like you will not get this off of yeah, your eyeballs. That's true, that's true too. When you sleep, too. when you yeah. wash your face. Yeah, but it's a good one. But it's and, amazing. And it comes in handy. And they, there's also a not waterproof one that a lot of people love. People oh. love the wand of it. I will show it to you. It's a good wand. It's good because it's like pokey on the end too, so you can get like really good. Um, but people love it and it's amazing for waterproof. And the other yeah. one's really good just for normal. Okay, that's it's, good It's to in know. a pink tube. Okay. It's Better good. Than Sex by Too Faced. Okay. Tell us about the other one. This one is MAC um, Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And I love it. You'll always know it because it's in this bluish tube. And I love it to put under my... On your bottom lashes. On my lashes. bottom lashes. I don't have it on right now, but... The wand is just really thin and good. So it doesn't hit your face. So it doesn't hit your face. You can get really good in there. Okay. And I'm telling you, ladies... You need to put it on your lower lashes because it really know. opens up your eyes. It does. It does. I, I it makes you look so much more like I agree. awake and there. Yeah. And obviously, I'm not a good example of that because I'm not wearing any mascara right now. But, but no, I totally agree with that. Okay. It's a great one. It's a good one. Okay. All right. Stitching. What we're here about. What we're all here about. Okay. Let's discuss. Um, I wanted you guys to know it has nothing to do with anything. Now, what? Oh, that I have kitted up. Grab that one right there. I have kitted up the Lady Liberty. I want to see the Krynik. Is it in here? No, it's not in there. So it's not kitted up. Well, almost, okay? It was oh, this look, one. I haven't even seen the fabric yet. Yeah. So this is the one, and I got the and fabric. And someone asked us to comment back where to find that. Okay, yes, in the comments. And I'll write her back tonight. So, but look how cute but the fabric is. Th th this is the called for fabric. And all of it is DMC with Krynik in it to put in with the DMC. So one strand of Krynik and one strand of and DMC. And what is it? Is it Krynik.com? At www.krynik.com. K-R-E-I-N-I-K.com. Thank you. And then it says freebies. Oh, and you are there on, a bunch of fun ones? Oh my gosh, darling ones. Stop. Yeah, in fact, I was thinking of another one we need. Oh dear. Freebies, and then it goes into categories. And it was like Christmas and Halloween and something else. And then it was like... Freedom. Um, no, it was like other seasons or oh. something. And I click on other seasons, and then you've got to scroll through just a little ways, and it is found, that's where it's found. Okay, so I did get all the DMC for it, and I got the fabric, and you showed the fabric. We should talk about what the fabric is. It is a 28 count Babbling Brook hand dyed Jobelin. 28 count? Yeah. This is gonna be. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I think you'll really like it. You'll be fine. <laughs> She's gonna be fine. She just has to like get her breath back. She's gonna be fine. No, you're gonna be fine. I can't even see the dots. Yes, you can. You'll be fine. With your new glasses. I got new glasses, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I'm really growing up. Okay, so that is, I kitted that up for both of us. I've never seen anything so disturbing in my life. No, I think you, you really, you, once you get used to it, you'll be okay. <laughs> I should have. I didn't know we were jumping in this fast. Well, you know. Anyway, we can substitute something else if you'd like. Okay. Now, 
our stitching that we got done this week. Let, let us And discuss. that is our stitching. Kefren got some our stitching. stitching. Yes, there you go. Okay. I'm going to start with my Santa's Village, the Country Cottage Needlework. Are you going to get it done before Christmas? No, it will not be done before Christmas. But I have started on the second house. <gasps> Let's see. Poinsettia Place. Okay, I'm so thrilled. Debbie loves poinsettias. We have many in the house at Christmas, don't we? And she kept one. Oh, yes. Last year. No, like, three, three years, years ago, ago. Our neighbor our has like a neighbor. poinsettia field. He he is a he is a not a florist. He's a he's a nursery. There you go. And they sell plants mainly in the spring. And every year they bring they deliver a, a beautiful poinsettia and so three years ago i kept it for three years you guys and kept, it, kept alive. it alive and then i put it in my we called it the food storage room it's completely cement and it's dark yes to get it to go back to red again and i did i made it go red i could not believe it every year it would bloom i'm like oh my gosh this is the most insane thing and so they're all green all the leaves are green but you have to put it in total darkness starting eight weeks before christmas and i did and we got it red so it was crazy. But anyway, okay. Back to the poinsettia house. Okay, I've started poinsettia place. I've gotten um, of the snow done and then the bottom portion of the house. Okay. What so is this fabric? I, is this 20, is this the same? Uh-huh. It's different. I mean, it's a different kind of fabric, but, but it same is, count. It, uh, I'm gonna tell you really fast. I've got it right here. Don't you move a muscle. It's, oh my gosh, well, you ladies are amazing. It's 32 count. So it's even smaller. Or yes, no. it is. It's smaller. Yeah. And the X's look fairly big. Maybe yeah. I can do it. Yeah. I th you, you just have to kind of get used to it. Your yeah. eye does. This okay? is scary. Okay. Next one th that I'm going to show. No, no, no. We'll wait for that one. The next one is Prairie Schooler. Autumn oh. Leaves. Not going to sing. No. Mm -mm -mm. But I got all of the words done at the bottom. That is amazing. And I got the it's squirrel. It's so cute. The squirrel done. Climbing up a tree. And I got a lot more by the house and I got a couple of leaves. Prairie Schooler. Autumn Leaves. I'm, I'm I think I I'm trying to get this one done so that I can hang it up. For the fall. I okay? think that's very wise. Okay. All right. So there's that one. Now, Kath. Hi, girls. Oh. Oh, here's Dave. We told him your story. <laughs> we did. We story. told him your Beyonce, Jay Z, oh, and oh. Rock and Roll Hall, Hall of Fame, Fame story. And we're inserting a picture. Uh, from the Rock and Roll Hall right. of Fame. Yeah. Okay. Because you're right. just so cool. Okay. So I just have to show them my um, Mill Hill. Uh, Mill Hill. My little um, ornament. I did that upside what down. What is it, a pillow? It's a little ornament. And I got the rest of the white Don't done. Don't show them that. Oh gosh, thank you. And the white done, and I also got, you can start to see the cup is forming. The little mug, I should say, on that side. Can you see that? Oh yes, yes. So yes. cute. So anyway, I got a little bit done on that. Our Santa was a different type of Santa. He didn't take, you know, regular food when we left food out for him what did he do like you know most people do cookies and milk oh that's true but our santa day can drink whatever dave's drinking right now funny thing isn't that weird yeah. a coca-cola but with cookies but with cookies not i feel like we do like cheese for the reindeer for the reindeer well, and carrots and carrots, and carrots. Carrots and celery. and celery and like hostess products probably. Sometimes we would. <laughs> Other times we would do cookies. But he loved coke. his Coke. There wasn't any milk. That's no. true. Milk was Santa never... did not like milk in our home. Okay. All right. Anyway. Kef, tell us about your stitching. You guys. <laughs> Somebody in the comments last week was like, you just need to try and take 10 stitches. That's all. It just, yep. that's what you need to tell yourself. Just and 10. you know what I did? I did more than 10. Ooh, you did. Look at that, you guys. The, I finished uh, the C. Oh, because I had about five stitches left. And I started the O. That's excellent. That is so good. And okay. I have a hard time with these X's, so I can only imagine. You need your glasses. I use my glasses, and then I was like. How come when I look at the back of mine, it's not as pretty as all of your guys's? Oh, that comes, that comes. Mine, sometimes I, I'm careful and sometimes I'm not, okay? Like, look at that. It looks like an actual nightmare. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> 
But it looks great on the front. Who cares? It does. That's fine. Who cares? And I got M, and I, th I thought I was going to get the O done, but I didn't. I just started the O. I will say that it's not as fun for me because it's all black. I was going to say that to you. That's why we needed to kit something else up with other colors. I agree. Because you, you, you do start to get tired so like, of the black. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it does. But it I'm did. also wondering, like, how many letters I need to do per week to get it done before Halloween. We'll have to figure that out. Because you're thinking there's no way it's going to get done before Halloween. Well, it could. I mean, it really can go pretty fast. It's so I just can't do it fast, you guys. I know. Well, it's a, and it's I a, hate all of this fabric. Oh, it drives me absolutely I know, wild. I, I end up so, holding it okay, like this. So they're going to tell you all to get a cue snap. Okay. What's a freaking cute snap? I'll get you. A, I have a cute What is snap. it though? It's the ones that are white that look like oh, PVC big. pipe. Yeah. And then everything is encompassed. Some people even use the hair things that you put your thing back. And they I was thinking about doing that. With your hair? Yeah. I was thinking about putting a hair elastic because it drives me bonkers. Okay. We're going to get you a cute snap. And I'm always paranoid that I'm going to start like stitching St through it. some of it. <laughs> Okay, all right, we'll get you a Q snap. It's so hard, and then I feel like I'm slow. Like, this took me a long time. I, yeah, I don't, we need to get and you. And, oh dear. more complaints. This fabric, sometimes there's like, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Sometimes right. I feel like I'm not going in the correct part of the hole. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Sometimes you have to separate a little bit. It's scary. Oh, so, uh, no. You're going to do great, okay? All right? You're going to do great. I just need to be faster. I'm not fast enough. Yeah. And, and that's, you got to get the rhythm. I know. know. Okay? So, as I was going through, so now we're going to talk about finishes. As I was going through my, I went through a little bit of my stash this week because I hadn't gone through it in many years. And I found this pillow that I had purchased and never done. It is a pine mountain design, which is a Utah. And what did I do with the, I had a, oh, I had the thing, dang it, that said pine mountain on it. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Thank you. This was years ago, <clears throat> but I picked it up this week and just, just finished it. Bada bing, bada boom. I mean, you can see how fast it just is. Big stitches. My kind of stitches. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe we got to get you one of these. <laughs> anyway, it's on a cloth stern like fabric, but I just, I fixed, but I did not have the pillow. So I stopped at a place called Pine Needles in, um, uh, it's in kind of South Salt Lake and got the pillow to go with this. Um, but I'm thrilled. It's done. As you should be. It's very It's cute. just a simple, simple, I thought really, really cute. Okay. So as I was going through my stash, maybe I should give you this. It is September from Pine oh. Mountain. Okay. All the floss is included. Wow. And you, and I, I, I love the September thing. So there you go. That might be something that That's you. That's cute. Yeah. I think it's really cute. I found that in my stash, so I need to finish that up. So that was something. Then I wanted to show you guys. Remember, I finished Santa. It's so cute. And Shepherd's Bush had not done this one. Do you remember? Yes. And so on all of their prairie schoolers, they put cute buttons. And so I went and got. Did you um, go to I didn't. Bush? No, I did not. I went. I got these actually at Pine Needles yesterday. Oh. And they are. Do you want to hold one up? They're little gingerbread people. <laughs> and you've you guys have seen these before they're little bells kind of gold bells so i'm thinking of putting like a gold bell here cute and then i'm thinking of putting the uh where's the guy i'm thinking of putting one of these guys down oh, yeah. here Don't you think that would be cute okay to, how are you gonna put it on I'll, I'll just sew it on like a but like it is it's a button so there's holes. Can you see those holes? No. Okay, well, there's holes. Where are the holes? Right up, up right below his smile. Oh, I see them. Yeah. And then I'm going to put these bells kind of on this side. And I'm going to add that to this. That's so cute. I thought it was. And I, I didn't get up How to... How creative. I know. I didn't get up. They would have had a better idea, I'm sure, at Shepherd's Bush, but I couldn't. didn't get I'm up kind there. kind of rubbery, and I feel like I could just... You could. It. Yeah. It's female clay. 
female clay. Okay, so I wanted to show you that and I'll try. That's and... such a cute idea. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. They didn't have one done, so they would have had to have thought what they would put on it. Totally. So I just, when I was, I noticed that the um, that people. That is so smart. The people at Pine Needles had them, so I thought I'm just going to pick these up right now. So I did, okay? Then the next thing I was going to show you is I just picked this up. I was literally. I was just in and out in two seconds, but I thought this was cute, and it's a Why pine. Why you stay longer? Um, we were on our way to, you know, the car was being serviced. Oh, or my, oh. You know, my battery died in my car, and so Dave was just waiting for it, but we were like in a 15-minute parking thing. So I just thought this was cute because I really don't have anything for August, and I, this just caught my eye, and it's called, it is by Pine Mountain. It's pretty... Um, new they're, they're called snapshots and they're done different months and this one i just love that lady underneath the the umbrella is that cute? So cute and i thought that the popsicle up at the top was cute and so anyway i just picked that up it was just kind of a fun um quick love yeah for august so i got that those that was the only haul that i got and um the buttons and then I wanted to talk really fast for a minute about Chalk Couture. If you don't want to listen any farther, you don't have to. I did a lot of Chalk Couture. Debbie went ham. I did a lot of Chalk Couture this week, okay? Just so I could get a feel for it. If you and, can't tell, we just really love Christmas. And Yeah, and this is the catalog. Um, it's online, and if you go to Snug Harbor dot chalkcouture.com that's my store and you can purchase any of these things through there um, or you can join and there's a button that you can join and become a designer like I have and everything is reduced a lot if you're a designer but I decided to try all of the mediums so I did a tap <clears throat> a towel um she got it from Walmart got it from Walmart it was one dollar one dollar and i think it's really cute it is really i think cute. it's turned out really cute this is the permanent ink and i have ironed it so that it will stay permanent but i thought you could gather it up here with a cute ribbon and like give it to your neighbors yeah and give it to your neighbors or give it to my teachers at the school good idea yeah. so i did that i'm thrilled with it you should i be. will wash it and tell you what i think but I just think it turned out really it's cute. It's really cute. So then I used a, that set and another set, and I did the chalkboard. Oh my gosh, how So cool we did Joy last week, but then I did this chalkboard, and today, literally, I threw the ribbon on, put the ribbon on here. Love just to, the ribbon. Just to see what it would look like. And I, I just think it's really, really cute. It is so cute. Isn't I'm it cute? Dying. Okay, and then I got a silver. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. This is a sparkly, and I got this at... Joanne's No, or this Michael's? was Michael's. I got this little guy. I want to say it was 64 cents, I want to say. And, and, and this, I did you the, probably won't be able to tell. It's sparkly, but I, they it's probably sparkly. won't tell. But I did that snow, the, the snowflake on it. And then this is the last thing I'll show you. Oh is, my heck, I'm dying. This is for Kath. And I did this Happy Halloween. And it's one stencil. And I wanted to try the wood. Okay? Most of their stuff is done on just chalkboard. But they say you can do it on wood. They say you can do it on, of course, you have to do permanent ink. Right. Is this chalk? This is the, this is the chalk. This is the... So this we could technically erase it. You could technically erase it. Yeah. But I think it Isn't turned it out Isn't it not really the cute, cute? There's a big, like, blank space between... On her front porch. On, yeah, on my front porch. And it's going to go there. Isn't that cute? I really like it. I'm really pleased... At first, doing all the colors is difficult because they dry, and you have to remove the stencil before it's dry. And so I learned, and I put wet paper towels after I did this, then I did this, then I did this, and so I didn't need to do it down here. And then it stayed fine. It's so, so cute. You just, there's a and little the bit colors of, are so cute. Yeah, a little bit of a learning curve. But, you know, I did the green stems, and I did the black. I don't know. I'm really pleased with it, and I think you it's really be. cute. So I, I really like it. Those were the things I wanted to share with you from Chalk Couture. I love Couture. it. I'll be doing more, but those are the things I wanted to we share. We went crazy. Well, that's another story that happened this week. I, I should have filmed it. Oh. So Dave was out of town, and Debbie's like, Oh, Catherine, <laughs> I have 25% off my whole purchase at Joann's. Because I'm a teacher, okay? <laughs> so meet me there. 
So I got in my car and we met halfway. At, we met at Joanne's and we spent an enormous amount of money on chalkboards and we did get some cute chalk a bunch of cute stuff for my house yes and other things that like like some candle things to go on the front yeah okay and we're, that like, we're already 65 percent off plus my plus 25. 25 we saved 200 dollars just to give you an idea yes that's true <laughs> she's like well you saved 200 like 199 dollars i was like that's fantastic <laughs> Okay, so anyway, we walk out. We walk out of the freaking store. We get in our separate cars, and Debbie turns her car on, and it just doesn't start. It won't start. There I am. <laughs> stuck moment, at Joanne's. Stuck at Joanne's. And I've been driving all day long. All I've been, day. I've been going a lots of places to run errands. Nope. Thank nope, goodness no. that it happened there, though. I know. And then I'm, get free, don't leave. I so I window. stayed there. We called Steven, and he came and jumped He car. jumped. My battery was just, had had, it just was done. My battery was done. So we've it gotten was. it replaced. And so luckily, he was able to jump it, and I was yeah. able to drive home, and we were fine. But anyway. That was funny. Yeah, because Dave was out of town. And so that was that funny was stuff. funny. Oh, I don't want to close this yet. Okay, now um, I just wanted to tell everybody, and who cares, and maybe nobody cares, but I'm going to a cricket maker event. That's exciting. Yeah, starting tomorrow morning. Wow, I'll be there. it's here in Salt Lake. Yeah, here in Salt Lake, Monday, Tuesday, and part of the day Wednesday. And I'm jealous. I really love my cricket maker, but there's lots of different things that they talk about, and one of them, and I'm kind of tempted to go, but I don't want to go because I don't. Is they're going to do an embroidery one? Oh. But it's like, but you don't. I embroider. feel like I could. Well, and I could teach the class. I do. I have embroidered a lot. So anyway, so it's like, why would I waste my time when I can be doing things with the learning know, other yeah. things? So anyway, so I don't know. I may walk in if I can. Wait, embroider. That's so what they're, they're like write things on shirts. Yeah. Or so but you know what they're going to do is they're going to take the cricket maker and they're going to put in a pen that is going to draw designs on a shirt or on that's what that's they're going to cool. do and then you embroider it and then it, it's probably one of those disappearing inks that got just, it got yeah, it got so it anyway. so i think that's what they're going to do but anyway, it's at little america it's at little america and so i'm curious i i love my maker and the knife uh blade has come out for the machine and so for quilters I'm, and things yes and they do great stuff there's lots of classes for quilters and um, cutting the maker, cutting your quilts, your fabric on the maker. And so um, I'm signed up for some really- She went last year and it was like life changing. It was, it was pretty amazing. So was, I, we're curious. I'm excited to see. Yeah, we're curious to see But you don't think do. it's gonna be as life changing. I don't, I don't know how it can be. But anyway. Because last year they all ended up getting a freaking new mach machine. machine. They gave us a Cricut maker, which was the newest it is still the newest. Um, it was, we all died. I mean, she honestly. Was, screams were happening. It was an Oprah. People were like. It was like an Oprah moment. Yeah, totally. I mean, we had no idea they were going to do she that. She was just dead on the floor. I was, man. I <laughs> she just, had called me and she was like, I was like, never going to believe. No, I couldn't. I still couldn't believe. I know. To this day, I can't. That's why it's like, they made it so good last year. How yeah, can they how make can it they, this good Yeah, this what are they going to do? Because the But if you do get another one, I get it. I know. So that's what, yeah. My friend that's going with me said, Debbie, you could just give it to Kefra. And I said, yes, I would. I would just give it to Kefra. But she, you could keep the new one and I'd take your oh, ear Oh, that's one. nice. I okay. know. I'm just really nice <laughs> like that. Anyway, so, so I probably never use it. So I'm going there tomorrow, and I love my cricket. It is cool. She loves her I cricket. I do. It's really fun. I just, I, it's a great machine. So anyway, there but you go. Mom, you should post things on Insta stories. Oh, from my thing. Okay. And Instagram. Okay. I don't know if I can do Insta stories, but I can do Instagram. I think she can figure out Insta stories. Okay. So I will, because we will. Uh, Leah Griffith is going to be there. Wow. And also Anna Griffin. So, and I'm taking classes from both of them. Yeah, and if you guys followed my Instagram, keeping up with the Kenyans. Yeah. You would have seen Debbie at chuck oh, yes. last night. yes. You get to see me walking. A few of you commented back on my Insta story. I guess some of you do follow her, and that was pretty funny. But anyway, so there you go. Um, so those are the things that I'm doing this week. Love it. And you are going to be going to work. <laughs> and I will be soon, too. But anyway, um... Uh, we are so excited that you guys responded so much to our uh, to our contest yes. and all. We totally appreciate. We the love comments. your comments. Yeah, it's so great, and we um, we need to be better about writing back to everyone. And we and it was hard this week, but I because I was trying to get so much done. But we totally appreciate the other floss tubers. The whole floss tuber community is honestly. Amazing. 
we we just uh, it's been a blessing I mean really yeah. it has and it's just been great people that we've met that we never ever would have, have crossed, would have crossed paths with so it's very and we all very feel cool. like we're like best friends with each other now. I know and it's so funny someday we have to all get together yeah. but anyway um we hope you have a great week and we, we love will, you guys we will be back again to tell you how our week went next saturday i'm hoping i'm going to take my stitching with me to stitch at night i was going to say because i'm not going to stay here i'm going to stay at the hotel so that i can you know stitch away so anyway there you go that's what we're planning on for this week and kef will get some more done i will i'm hoping to get two letters done okay all right is well, that a good goal yes that is a really good goal but i'm good. definitely not working on lady liberty over here mm. We need, I'm thinking the other one that I have. You need to try this. No, I want to do lady. I need to get better at stitching. Okay. Well, but I mean, this would kind of get, oh, well, anyway, we'll talk about it after we're done. So, guys, have a great week. We'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Bye.